If you want to know about Muslims in Canada, then stay with us for a couple of minutes, because we will be discussing history of Islam and current population of Muslims in Canada. Globally, Muslims are a very diverse population and this diversity extends to the Muslim community within Canada as well. Muslims living within Canada come from many ethnic backgrounds. The majority of Muslims currently living in Canada have immigrated from other countries and regions, such as Pakistan, the Middle East and Indonesia. Approximately one-fifth of Canadian Muslims are born in Canada. The first Canadian census in 1871 recorded the presence of 13 Muslims. The first mosque in Canada was built in Edmonton, Alberta in 1938 and is now seen as an historical building. Currently, every province and territory has a notable Muslim community, with the largest existing in Toronto with over 250,000 Muslims residing in the city and over 20 mosques. Many mosques participate in the Doors Open event, inviting the public to visit their community's place of worship and learn more about Islam in general. Even though these events are scheduled, visits are welcome any time of year. According to Canada's 2011 National Household Survey, there were 1,053,945 Muslims in Canada, or about 3.2% of the population, making Islam the second largest religion in the country after Christianity. The majority of Canadian Muslims live in the provinces of Ontario and Quebec. Muslim immigrants have come to Canada for a variety of reasons. These include higher education, security, employment, and family reunification. Most Canadian Muslims are people who are raised Muslim. The fertility rate for Muslims in Canada is higher than the rate for other Canadians, an average of 2.4 children per woman for Muslims, compared with 1.6 children per woman for other populations in Canada. As the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees freedom of religious expression, Canadian Muslims face no official religious discrimination. The wearing of a hijab is permitted in schools and places of work. Religious holidays and dietary restrictions are also respected. Outside major urban areas it may be difficult to find halal food. However, in major cities, there are a plethora of halal Zabiha restaurants across Canada, many are located in the Greater Toronto Area. In Toronto alone, there are more than 400 halal Zabiha restaurants. Halal is the Arabic word for permissible, and in dietary law it is used to refer to foods that are permitted for Muslims to eat. This usually means that meat comes from animals that have been slaughtered in accordance with the dictates of Islamic law. The need to eat hand-slaughtered halal meat has created a big demand of Muslim farms. On Eid al-Adha, Muslims prefer to slaughter their animals themselves. Although you can also give money to various Muslim meat shop and they can arrange kurbani for you. The National Council of Canadian Muslims, NCCM, is an independent, non-partisan and non-profit organization dedicated to protecting the human rights and civil liberties of Canadian Muslims, and by extension of all Canadians, promoting their public interests. Muslim, the fastest growing religious community in the world. It will constitute 29.7% of the global population in 2050, and is amongst 10 countries where Muslim population will increase the most by 2050. Three largest religious groups in Canada, Christians, Muslims, and unaffiliated, will report growth in the next 40 years. Although the number of Christians will go up by 1 million in the next three decades, they will account for a smaller percent of the total population in 2050 than they did in 2010. Six years ago Christians constituted 69% of the country's population, and in 2050 the percentage will drop to 60. The population of Muslims and unaffiliated will grow at faster rates in the future compared to Christians. In 2010 Muslim community had 710.000 members, 2.1%. Forty years later their number will be 2.26 million, 5.5%, which is a 218% rise largest increase among all religious groups thank you for watching till the end how did you find this video give your feedback in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and share it with your friends and families and in your social links facebook twitter and whatsapp don't forget to subscribe to islam history channel to watch more interesting videos like this here is a link to our other videos you may like to watch